I'm starting to think Wes is onto something. Let's get to work. Great news. For some reason, the microphone on my camera didn't want to work, so you don't have to listen to me explain what I'm doing, where that tool is that I just had, or how I can't say anything because it's so dark in my workshop. What you will have to listen to is me, right now, narrating what the heck I'm doing. I modded this guitar about 12 months ago, video link up here in the corner, and honestly, it's a great guitar. I've been playing it a lot, but I just feel it needs a little more wes. Especially because my strap keeps coming off. So I've got some eye screws from Hammer Barn. Sweet little strap that I had my mum so locking clips into. Shout out to mum. I've got a little sticker that says Michael and some rubber tape. All with the goal of adding at least 10% more wes to this Jackson. Step one, removing the strap buttons and drilling holes with reckless disregard. Step two, a little sticker on the headstock that says Michael. I always wondered why Wes had my name on his headstock and I was watching a Jackson video the other day. I'll link it if I can. It's a great look at his guitars close up. But basically he said this guitar was Michael and he had another one called Jermaine. So that solves that mystery. Step three, rubber tape on the whammy bar for extra grip. Step four, a bit of extra off-white paint for some reason. I've really been loving me some clean Wes Borland riffs lately so let's explore a few and kicking it off with probably the most recognizable. This one's undeniably cool and simple, just grab your ebo. I've been buying modulated delay pedals recently and I stacked a couple and came up with this. Uh, this Magfield, it's modulated but it's boosty as well. So clean. And then the Magfield. And then I throw this Nux Time Core under it and you get this. Underrated riff, just a slight delay and some chorus is all you need.
Even less on this one. Just some delay. To wrap up this chocolate starfish heavy look at some of Wes Borland's clean riffs. That'll do it for this video. I've got a heap of cool guitar projects in the pipeline. So as always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for plenty more.